Welcome to G Suite, Google Suite's new Google Sites that's just been recently launched. We're going to get started by going into our Google Drive and looking for the new Google Sites. It has an icon to accompany it. And as we wait for it to open up, you'll notice very quickly the friendly interface, making it easier for all users to have more customization control over their website design. We're going to enter a site name, my ePortfolio. This is one where you could choose to use Google Sites. It really comes in handy during parent, teacher, and student conferences where the students lead conversations around how they've monitored, tracked, and reflected on their learning. So now that I've given my site uh, a name, you'll notice that it also appears across the top uh, as a document name, thus saving it quickly to my Google Drive, uh, giving me easy access to it when I want to continue working on it. I'm going to give this page a title. This will be my home page as it gets me started off launching my site. And you'll notice across here as I hover within this space, I have an option to change the image uh, within that banner. I can upload a new image. I can select a pre-existing one in here. I can also choose to change the header type uh, by making it a larger banner medium-sized one, or with no picture in the background, making it more narrow. So I'm just going to go with this banner here. There we go. I can also now go into Themes, which is located to the right side of the window. And in here, I can choose a text style for my page. I can play around with some color. And I can scroll down that when it's time to start typing, I probably could make a selection, but you're going to notice the selection is very limited from what was there uh, within the classic sites. In time, I'm sure uh, they'll introduce new options. Uh, their goal being right now to keep it simplified, giving it a very clean look as other things will be built within the page so it doesn't look uh, too daunting or overwhelming visually. Okay. Continuing on with this area here on the right, I'm going to click on pages. So we're going to create pages. I'm going to show you how to reorder and how to nest pages. One thing that's important to recognize is um, there is only one sublevel now when nesting pages, whereas in classic sites, you could have multiple sublevels. Uh, the new Google Sites doesn't offer that yet. So I've created my media literacy here. And again, I can, I can address and create a banner type and play around with that. I can give it neutrality feel if I want. So if I just go there. And maybe media literacy, my students created a healthy eating poster that they want to upload. Poster design. Okay. So now I've created this page. But for this one, I just want it to be a little more neutral. I can continue to customize in that way. But I don't want this to continue to appear along my top navigation bar as a separate item. I want it to be nested within media literacy. So you'll notice that blue banner with a little white dot. This is going to be nested within. A little arrow appears there showing that I can access it with ease. There we go. OK. I could create another poster in there. Um, I am statement uh, poster. And within here, click Done. I don't want it as a separate item in my top navigation bar. I want to nest it within media literacy. There we go. So again, only one sublevel. Can't go any deeper than that. I could create a data management site uh, page. And within it, perhaps my students were working on their bowling project. And I want to nest that inside data management. There we go. I can reorder. Maybe I want data management to appear first and then media literacy. You have full control as you create your uh, site pages and name them accordingly. If you would prefer not to have this appear across the top, because you could see very quickly that this is going to run out of space, um, you can choose to click on the settings bar uh, cog over here and choose side navigation. 
inside navigation, the menu icon will appear and everything will appear neatly to the left, clicking on the arrow and you can see your projects or your pages appear as needed. So that is one way you can choose to organize your pages and nesting them uh, within each other. And again, you can choose to reorganize them simply by clicking pages. That's it for us just to get started. I hope you join for the next videos. I show you how to begin to insert items within your pages.